Okay, let's go to Lowtown. Hello? Are you not afraid of apostates? Not even a little? Sunshine, I'm a dwarf. In case you missed that detail. Dwarves aren't completely immune to magic, you know. No, no, no. I meant there are at least 30 people in this town who'd murder my family over trade deals. Who has time to worry about apostates with a merchant's guild breathing down your neck? In that case, I see. <laughs> Hello, Lady Elegant. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Good to see you again, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Of course. Last time we met, you were still in Athenral's employ. Things have been going well since then. I'm doing my best. It isn't always easy, but things are going well enough. That's wonderful to hear. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for Athenral. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Lovely jubbly. Elf fruit potion. All right, all right. You should meet my husband, Hawk. Perhaps an evening out sometime. You should meet my husband. You can order potions if you discover the right combination of resources. Uh, so this is like crafting. Same thing. Okay. Uh, oh my god, that is a lot of silver. Perhaps an evening out sometime. Uh, Vincento's Northern Merchandise. Uh, just tons of stuff we can't afford. What is our inventory limit? Oh god, it's only 50? Oh no. I struggled with 120 in the fucking previous game. Oh god. Wait, what if you can- can you buy, uh, inventory space in this game like you could in the previous game? Doesn't seem like it. Or maybe you just can't hear? I don't know. I have only the finest of beaver merchandise. A badly copied leaflet. Take back our streets. For Elden refugees, Canari soldiers, who next? To Vinter slavers snatching children out their beds? This ends now! Send a message that Kirkwallers will not accept this. We must band together to drive foreign waste from our doorstep. Reclaim the free marches for the marchers. If you care about our future, join the friends of Kirkwall. Reclaim our city. Fuck off. Uh, the foreigners are taking my home. Clothing of all kinds. Acolyte staff. And just, yeah. We're not going to be able to afford anything for a long time. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Backpack. Permanently increases inventory capacity. 53 silver. It's more silver than it costs to go on this fucking expedition. Wait, no. That's gold, actually, isn't it? Isn't it 50... Gold they want? Oh god. Uh, Ferelden imports. Will everyone please just step back? This is a donation box to aid Ferelden refugees. You do not have enough coin to contribute. <laughs> oh man. The babies come early. Can anyone help her? I'll send word to the healer, but my son's hurt bad. Cart overturned on him in the blasted bone pit. Everyone in your turn. I promise we have donations coming in. There will be food and medicine for all of you. You know you're doing badly when even the charity box refuses you. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. Can I help? Is there a way I can assist these people? If you've coin to spare, we won't turn it down. Donations go in the box up front. Anything else? I just want to see your wares. Look around. We don't often get customers with actual coin to spend. Which is why you're selling stuff for gold. Because you don't have customers that have cash. Makes sense. Fuck me, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, sure. Okay, let's look at the map. What do we what do we got? Oh wow, this is actually huge, huh? Uh the bazaar, okay. Uh the hanged man is just down there. Alright, let's go there. Let's speak to the bro chacho. Trinkets. There's no way I'm gonna be able to afford anything, is there? I don't think there's any point in looking. I bring you a priceless treasure from the highest heights of Mount Davaris's travel. A pouch of Andraste's ashes. Verified by the scholar Genitivi, these ashes cure any ailment and provides virility in more intimate... What? <laughs> Do I have a volunteer? <laughs> I'll try. Just a small pinch, Sarah. There you go. <gasps> My God, it's gone. This is a setup, isn't it? Cure. That's enough. Clear out, you charlatans. It is a setup. Sergeant Melindra. Every coin those swindlers nab goes straight to the Carter's coffers. They must be stopped. No one cares as long as they keep to low town and the docks. No one except guards on the street, that is. All right. Uh, miracle makers. Eliminate the Carter swindlers operating in low town. Uh... Wait, we read that. Oh, fuck. So it doesn't... If you re... Oh, God. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to come into my codex every single time I read something, even though it pops up not in the codex, because otherwise I'll forget what I have and haven't read, and it all marks it as unread in the codex, even if you did read it in the game. That's great. The castless dwarves of Ozuma have few, have few prospects. Consigned to live a crumbling ruin, in a crumbling ruin, on the social and economic fringes of the mighty dwarven capital, most resort to begging, prostitution, or crime. Just as all rivers eventually join the sea, all castless who turn to crime eventually become part of the Carter. The hero of Ferelden decimated the ranks of this ancient gang while rallying the dwarves to join in the battle against the archdemon Othemiel. Did I? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, though. Unable to recover the power they once had in Orzammar, they turned their attention topside, using groups of surface-dwelling dwarves to smuggle weapons, lyrium, surface luxuries, people, and other goods between Orzammar and human lands. Despite the flow of business, its members are still desperate and violent. With no strong leader to rein in their excesses, they have little sense of dwarven honour and freely break their word, double-cross allies, and renege on deals. Yeesh. Uh, we read those... A badly cop- oh wait, no, that's that. Okay. Uh, so now we have a golden arrow on our map. Which it won't let me hover over? That's weird. Why can't I- I can move my cursor over that one, but I can't move my cursor over that? Okay. Your used to be noble, right? By some definition of the term. Do you ever wonder what your life would have been like if you were still nobles? Sunshine, nobility is just an expensive lifestyle. I've already got one of those. Nobles have power too, and responsibilities. Estates, servants, investments, mercenaries, assassins. <laughs> We've still got all those things. It's sunnier here, and nobody calls me my lord. I think I can live with that. <laughs> okay. Now, where do we chat in here? Nowhere in my travels, not in the heart of the Imperium, nor the streets of Ozma, have I felt so much as an outsider as in Ravain. The chant of light never truly reached the ears of these people. The years they spent under the thumb of the Kunari left most of the country zealous followers of the Kun. But resistance to the chant goes deeper than the Kunari war. The Ravani refuse to be parted from their seers, wise women who are in fact hedge mages, communicating with spirits and actually allowing themselves to become possessed. The Chantry prohibition against such magical practice violates millennia of local tradition. And that's a fact, is it? Think about it. Why would you work here, 
right? I'll get more of that ale. Full of dogs and the occasional sheep. It took decades for the other blights to run their courses. This one, less than two years, don't you see? It never happened. <laughs> it's fake news. <laughs> the blight is fake news. It was them 5G towers. You heard about that deep roads expedition? They say anyone who you goes down there is getting rich. You don't think you'll need drink there, don't you? The deep roads or something. There's an expedition heading down there. You should go with What's the... There's a little head here. What does that mean? Why is there a little head symbol? Doesn't seem like I can interact with anything. Oh, wait. Oh, I can interact with Varric here? So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Do we have a bad entrance? Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Well, unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. I. How can you be sure? Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. And if he knows nothing? Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking. But if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. Uh, all right, let's do it your way. Well, no, yeah. Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talked to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts. See if I can drum up any other work. Okay. Varric Friendship plus 15. New Codex the Grey Wardens. New Quest Tranquility. Tranquility? As in being made tranquil? Whoops. No, didn't mean to do that. Uh... Okay, wait. Duty is... Duty is the... Prince one. Okay. Uh, I want that to be marked. Rumor... Oh my god, what? Varric sources say there's been a number of Templar raids held in Lowtown's elven alienage. He can't verify why, however, or who's been giving the orders. According to Varric, a group of mages being transported from Starkhaven and hasn't arrived. It's currently just a rumor. Oh, and cannot be followed up on? According to his sources, someone's been asking questions. Cannot be followed up on. Uh, dwarven merchant named Javaris has been offering a lot of coin for muscle. Finding out where he is is a problem. Rumours that some in the Chantry have been making quite inquiries about the Canari. No one seems willing to talk about it. Okay. Uh... Anything we need to know new here? Probably not, right? Nah. Gotta say, I feel like this new codex system is quite a bit worse than in Dragon Age Origins. The only improvement is that it doesn't... When you scroll down, uh, it doesn't remove the flag that marks it as new until you scroll off it which was a big problem in the first one, that you couldn't actually see what was new when you were scrolling down. However, it has new problems, like you read it and then it's still marked in the inventory because you read it in the main game and then it doesn't actually show you like which area is lit up anymore, which one has a new thing in it, so you have to check them all and yeah. I feel like one step forward, two steps back on the, on the codex front, unfortunately. Maleficarum. 
It has been asked what are Maleficarum, how shall we know them? I have been as troubled by this question as you. You have come to me for the wisdom of the Maker, but none have seen the Maker's heart save beloved Andraste. And so I have done as all mortals must, and looked to the words of his prophet for answers. And there I found respite from a troubled mind. For she has said to us, magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Therefore I say to you, they who work magic, which dominates the minds and hearts of others, they have transgressed the Maker's law. Also, Our Lady said to us, those who bring harm without provocation to the least of his children are hated and accursed by the Maker. And so it is made clear to me, as it should be to us all, that magic which fuels itself by harming others by the letting of blood is hated by the Maker. Those mages who honour the Maker and keep his laws we welcome as our brothers and sisters. Those who reject the laws of the Maker and the words of his prophet are apostate. They shall be cast out and given no place among us. A bogus. Okay, I wasn't sure if I just missed that door being openable. Wait, can I just leave when it will bring them with me? Hopefully. Yes, okay, good. What was that again? Oh, that's tranquility. Oh, right. Okay, that's new. Uh, okay, let's check out the house. Wait, how do we get in here? Is it up there? No offense to your uncle, but this house smells like really old cabbage. We're not even in it yet. Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mom, Check the desk in your house for correspondence. New letters will arrive. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. Uh, writing desk? Bait and switch. Hawk, you might be interested in something that's come up. A contact of mine, a fellow by the name of Anso, is asking around for someone competent regarding a job, and I suggested you. He's always paid well, so if I were you, I'd check into it before someone else snaps it up. He said he'll be in the Lowtown Bazaar at night. Letter from Athenril. Hawk, your year's up and you're free to go. Despite what you think, we had a good thing working together. What, do, do, do we not like it? I might pass along an opportunity or two if you're willing to get your hands dirty. Stay, stay safe. The Black Emporium. This was DLC. Greetings. You do not know who I am, but I have heard of you. I understand you might need items from my collection, as well as the means to obtain them. I do not extend this invitation to anyone, but you are not simply anyone, are you? Consider this an invitation to the Black Emporium. Enclosed are directions through the passages underneath the city, as is the charm to enter. If you give the charm to another, its permission will immediately be revoked, and the consequences will be unpleasant. And duty. To whomever elects to participate in the charitable deed of assisting the Vale family of Starkhaven, His Most Worthy Highness Prince Sebastian Vale has proved, provided instructions for anyone brave and noble enough to attempt eradication of the rabble who dared attack his family. Three groups of Flint Company mercenaries have been sighted in the Kirkwall vicinity. One group makes camp not far from the elves of the Sundermount mountain range. The second has been seeking information on the docks after nightfall. The third is far from the main road off the wounded coast. They are believed to have a small campsite well past any known landmarks. A princely reward awaits whoever finds and defeats all these rogues. Alright, I don't know how you'd prove that you've done that. Order runes. Doggo! He wasn't like this in Lothering. I think he misses the open fields. Wanna play? Come on. Let's play Fetch the Invisible Ball. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if we brought him with us more often. I worry for his safety. He's part of the family. I wouldn't want to lose him. Take it. I'm sick of what's his name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly, Amabari understands what you say. Try using his name. 
What's wrong with Doc? Real easy to remember. Hello. We get to name him. Uh, well, this one is, of course, obviously. Oh, wait. We're still on caps. Wafet. My children have been in servitude. Servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. This isn't a dream? You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. Hmm, are you being a sussy motherfucker? What exactly did it say? Did grandfather mention mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in Pinafore's girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. Yeah. Tell me about our family. I know the Amels were nobility, mother, but not much else. Why don't you ever talk about them? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwall since Garahel drove out the Fourth Blight. But we've always carried magic in our blood. The hero of Ferelden was one of ours, you know. Hell yeah! One of my cousin Revka's children. The circle Wait, what? It's been a stain on our lineage. We're cousins? No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. Or like, you're my aunt, wasn't it? When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. She said the hero of Ferelden was one of her cousin's kids. So, wait, what would that be? Uh... I don't actually know what you would call that. Cousins once removed or something? Uh, okay, we've heard those. I'm going to look. Take me to the vault. Can't. It's in the cellar of the estate. Someone else lives there now. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? Reinhardt! No Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. What a fucking piece of shit this dude is. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? He's a born liar. Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. Jesus. It's like coming That's a bit heavy to lay on your kid. Of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. Hmm. Maybe we can eventually buy the estate. When this Deep Roads expedition comes through, we can buy her home back. Move to Hightown. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Jesus fuck, let's go after them. Good. Then we can break in and I don't care if we kill them. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. Then we go in the back. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently, the sewers run right beneath the house. Alright, quest updated birthright. Cool, cool. Um, Memento of Mark of the Assassin. Memento of Legacy. Oh, okay, so this is how you start those DLCs then. The Cardinal Rules of Magic. You must not be under the misimpression that magic is all-powerful. There are limits, and not even the greatest mages may overcome them. 
No one, for instance, has found any means of travelling, either over great distances or small ones, beyond putting one foot in front of the other. Apart from Illuvians. The immutable nature of the physical world prevents this, so no, you may not simply pop over to Minrathas to borrow a cup of sugar, nor may you magic the essay you forgot in the Apprentice Dormitory to your desk. You will simply have to be prepared. Similarly, even when you send your mind into the Phage, your body remains behind. Only once has this barrier been overcome, and reputedly the spell required two-thirds of the Lyrium in the Tevinta Imperium, as well as the lifeblood of several hundred slaves. The results were utterly disastrous. Finally, life is finite. A truly great healer may bring someone back from the very precipice of death when breath and heartbeat have ceased, but the spirit still clings to life. But once the spirit has fled the body, it cannot be recalled. That is no failing of your skills or power, it is simple reality. Tomes allow Hawk to instantly learn abilities or improve attributes. A Tome of the Mortal Vessel grants one or more attribute points, Tome of Techniques grants ability points, and it's gone. Uh, two points. Get ourselves a nice 20 decks, how about that? Uh, that's to leave. That's storage. Don't have anything in there. Anything back here? I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. Lovely. A note addressed to Gamlin. Gamlin Amel, payment is now two months late, Sarah. Interest accrues, as you are well aware. You will find yourself barred from our establishments unless payment is made. Think. No better card sharp or numbers runner in Kirkwall will deal with you. I certainly hope this matter is attended to before steps are taken. Let us avoid further unpleasantness, Gallard. I can't have Mother living in this hole. I've got to get out of here. I mean, she's been living in this hole for a year, mate. Looks like the dog's trying to tunnel his way out of this hovel. Can't blame him. I don't know if burning a fire in a fucking, like, wooden-looking place with no chimney or anything is a great idea. Not sure if that's your smartest hour. Uh. Oh, right. We can't choose her because we haven't gone to get her yet, I guess. Um... Okay, there's stuff we can do in Lowtown. Swindler. Not a step closer. No refunds on the ashes, friend. If the Maker doesn't favor you, that's between you and him, isn't it? He kind of sounds like Ogren. Let's make this quick. Oh, okay. Well, sucks to suck, dickheads. Oh. You're a girl. Owned. No one else, uh, no one else minds that we just did a little spot of murder. Okay, so that's handing that one in. Um, Elven alienage is up there. Didn't one of the quests mention that? Oh. The city elves. Uh, we've read something very similar to this, I think. I won't complain about Uncle Gamlin's house anymore. Alienage culture. There have always been alienages. They have been around for as long as elves and shems have lived in the same lands, as isn't even the worst. They say that Val Royo has 10,000 elves living in a space no bigger than Denerim's market. Their walls are supposedly so high that daylight doesn't reach the... Vahenadal until midday. But don't be so anxious to start tearing down the walls and picking fights with the guards. They keep out more than they keep in. 
We don't have to live here, you know. Sometimes a family gets a good break and they buy a house in the docks or the outskirts of town. If they're lucky, they come back to the alienage after the looters have burned their house down. The unlucky ones just go to the pauper's field. Man, I feel I'm pretty sure we've read like exactly that before. I wish there was a way to know. I'm pretty sure in Mass Effect, they carried the codex over across the games, didn't they? Whereas this time you're getting stuff for the first... It looks like it's for the first time, but it's actually stuff you've already read. Kirkwall. Lowdown is home to a squalid elven alienage. Here, like in most Thedas alienages, elves are packed into tiny rundown apartments and effectively segregated from the human population. Kirkwall's alienage is even more dilapidated than in the rest of Lowdown, but the elves go to great lengths keeping the place looking bright and festive. The Venadal, Tree of the People, is standing in the middle of the alienage is a symbol for elven pride and shared cultural identity, and it is lovingly cared for. It's difficult to say if the elves would continue confining themselves to the alienage if they were given the chance to mingle. They may not admit it, but some feel that living among their kind is far better than living with humans, no matter how terrible alienage life may be. Sag. Okay, I guess we didn't have anything to do here. I mean, there's no arrow, so I suppose, but I could have sworn one of the quests mentioned it. I miss my haste. <laughs> No charlatans won't be bothering anyone again. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. That is very clumsy. Cheers. I doubt the mystery of who killed those swindlers will ever be solved. That's a shame. Wait, how do you get... Oh. You again. What do you want? Looking for someone. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of slew the Archdemon to save us all. Fat lot they care here. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Why so defensive? Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. What do you mean? You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? We would never turn someone over to the Templars, mistress. Never. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. I mean no harm. Your healer is in no danger from me. No mage should suffer for an accident of birth. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly Anders? been free enough with his services. Refugees Anders? in Dark Town know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. I can't oh, shit. across the boat. The grip's got him bad. Holy fuck, I was not expecting Anders wasn't in the main game, was he? He was just DLC, right? Yeah. I was not expecting that. And he's a full-on healer now? Hey, Sick. We heard you in there asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. We're on the same side. Bethany? Look, we're Vereldans just trying to keep out of the Templar's sight, same as you. Vereldan? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our Queen Honora. Uh, right, how do I get out of here then? Do I go back up this way? And will that let me jump to a different area? Yes. Okay, so we said Dark Town. Uh, and didn't they say at night?
Birthright Tranquility. Okay, there, up there. How the fuck do I get up there? I guess let's explore a bit. Oh, hello. Winter Imperium, we know about this. Built on a foundation of slavery. Yeah. Okay, that's that thing, but we want to go fucking see if we can find best boy first. Hello! How did you end up here? a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? Uh, chill out. <laughs> I mean no harm. I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. The rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not no. going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Oh, so it pounce a lot? Oh. He hated the deep roads. Sir Pouncelot. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Roads. He was a gift. He was. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. Aw. What are you doing here? So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes, I'm here because there's no warden outpost, no darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with, and some reasons of my own. Can people leave? I've always heard that joining the wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out I if mean... you hide well. The you nightmares about the Archdemon stopped the when the Archdemon died, right? I want your help. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor... Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me... I'll help you. Uh, sure. Help my expedition reach the Deep Roads. And I'll do whatever you need. You don't ask for my terms. What if I were asking for the Knight Commander's head on a spike? Then I would gladly do it. What you, ask? <laughs> you decide. I have a Warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Sounds good. How did they find out? What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. Help him escape the circle? You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andraste said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. 
Mages need their freedom. Forcing mages into servitude is not the way to prevent the rise of another Imperium. That's not usually the response I get. Perhaps we will work together better than I expected. I think we will. How did the Templars find out? Wait, isn't that wasn't that at the top before? What do the Templars know of your plans? Yeah, we've done I this. Know. Fuck. Then the letters stopped coming. Uh who is the mage? Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Feckler. He was sent here from Ferelden when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Mages are locked in their cells, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. Jesus. I told him I would come. The Circle? A prison? Are these accusations true? Ask any mage in Kirkwall. Over a dozen were made tranquil just this year. The more people you ask, the worse the rumours become. Didn't they say that it, <laughs> not only is it a prison, but it's also like built in a prison? They're very much being like, hey, <laughs> do you get it? The mages, they're in prison. How do you plan to break him out of the gallows? I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Make a willing, he'll be there, alone. But if there are Templars with him, I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. Cool, I'll help. You've convinced me. What's your plan? I welcome your aid. I have already sent word for Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk away free. Sounds good to me. Uh, who has something to talk about? Carl won't be able to get away until it's dark. Meet me at the Chantry at nightfall. There's a head symbol, but... I don't know if that is going to be like if Anders joins our party or and then he can talk here or something. Uh, History of Kirkwall Chapter 4. Have we had any other chapters? Whatever. The Threnhold family assumed its foreboding control of the city at the very onset of the Dragon Age, less than a week after Marek Therin retook the Ferelden throne from Orlais. Since this was followed by a civil war in Antiva, the much maligned Three Queens era, and a coup in the Tevinta Imperium, many thought that the Dragon Age would bring devastating change. Perhaps this was a hasty estimate, but it was true for Kirkwall. Uh, I, I, I always forget how to pronounce this. Is it Viscount or Viscount? I always forget if you pronounce the S or not. Uh, Chivalry Threnhold was a vicious thug who took power through a campaign of intimidation, and his son Perrin, who succeeded him in 914 Dragon, was even worse. Taxes were crippling, and Perrin Threnhold used the ancient chains extending from the twins standing at Kirkwall's harbour, unused since the new Exalted Marches, to block sea traffic and charge exorbitant fees from Orlesian ships. The Empire threatened invasion following the closure of the Waking Sea Passage, and for the first time the Chantry used the Templars to pressure the dude. Until that point, the Templars had done nothing to counter the Threnholds, even though as the largest armed force in Kirkwall, they could have. Knight Commander Gylian's only written comment... Comment? Comment? <laughs> only written comment was in a letter to Divine Beatrix III. It is not our place to interfere in political affairs. We are here to safeguard the city against magic, not against itself. The Divine, as a friend to the Emperor, clearly had other ideas. In response, Dude Perrin hired a mercenary army, forcing a showdown with the Templars. They stormed the gallows and hung Knight Commander Gylian, igniting a series of battles that ended with Perrin's arrest and the last of his family's rule. Great banter. The Templars were ha hailed as heroes, and even though they wished to remain out of Kirkwall's affairs, it was now forced upon them. Knight Commander Meredith appointed Lord Marlow Dumas as the new dude in 921 Dragon, and she has remained influential in City's rule ever since. Sounds terrible. Sounds absolutely awful. Sounds like something they should not have allowed to happen. Uh, okay. Can't go around there. Cool. Well, good to see Anders. He seemed a little less, uh light-hearted and chipper than he used to be, but... I think this is the cellar door. Let's go in and see why Gamlin lied. Let's! Follow my lead! Hello! History of Kirkwall, Chapter 1. 
Difficult for many to comprehend today, but there was a time when Kirkwall was believed to be the very edge of the world. It was Emerius then, named after its founder Magister Emerius Craven, and it was one it was but one outpost on the very fringe of the Tevinter Imperium. There the Magister's serfs worked the quarries for the jetstone needed for the mighty temples of Minrathus. After a slave rebellion nearly burned the temple to the ground in the great city, it was determined that a centre for the slave trade would need to be established well away from the more civilised parts of the Imperium. Though this account may be exaggerated, since the notorious Archon Venerius Issa narrowly escaped assassination at the hands of an elven slave at the time. Because the new slave outpost would because the new slave outpost would become wealthy beyond imagining, competition among prospects reportedly took over 20 years to resolve, resulting in greater bloodshed in the frontier well away from the Archon's eyes. Magister took arms against Magister, mostly in the form of small armies of serfs and mercenaries. Over half the slaves in existence allegedly died in these battles before Emerius was finally chosen, thanks to the marriage of Craven's son to the Archon's daughter. Within a mere decade, the mighty fortress was erected on the cliffs where Kirkwall now stands. Over one million slaves passed through its gates by, before the Imperium eventually fell, an unimaginable number by today's standards. The Craven family itself became patrons of the next three Archons, and was one of the driving forces behind the extension of the Imperial Highway into the Ferelden Valley, a move that would cost them considerable political influence after the resistance of the Alamari tribes. During its height, Amerius was a jewel to rival the mightiest of the Imperial cities and the greatest centre of civilization outside Tevinter. Yoink. Yoink. Assassins lurk on the edges of fight, striking from the shadows. Be wary as they often prey on those with the now least formidable fight. armor. Okay, well, I guess that stun does do shit. Do we have anything that we should be equipping? Uh, that's the wrong thing. Um, right. Like, is any of this better? I guess... Is it just a star rating? Is that the only thing that really... tells you? What's the amulet? Plus 16 attack? Fucking get that on me. Jesus. What? That's nuts. That's huge. That's big. That's massive. That's enormous. That is fucking nuts. Portrait of your mum. New quest. Portrait of the past. Mother described it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a house with this above the door? Yeah, it'd make me feel like a rich dickhead. Um, what was this new thingy we just got? Tranquility. Oh, wait, that's main quest. Oh. Birthright, retrieve the will. Portrait of the past. Bethany might be interested. Speak with her about it back at Gamlin's. Okay. It's truly sad what happened to the Amels, isn't it? I still remember Grandmother talking about the balls that Lord Ar Aristide used to hold at their estate, and the Antivan violin players and dancers from Af Afsana. No expense was spared and no one would dare miss it, lest some think they weren't worthy of an invitation. And then poor Revka had, had the child. Magical talent, running in one of Kirkwall's most prominent families. The Templars had considered Lord Aristide to be... Dude, after Threnhold's arrest. Can you imagine the scandal, had he been chosen? They whisked the child away to the circle and the Amels simply had no luck after that. Leander ran off with a Ferelden mage and then Damien was accused of smuggling. Poor Lord Forston almost bankrupted his family trying to get the charges dropped, but I hear Dude Marlow simply wanted the Amels out of the picture. And it worked too, didn't it? By the time Lord Fauston got sick, there was only young Gamlin left and a mountain of debt. I spoke to Dewey C. Oh no, Dulcie. Dulcie? Dulcie? 
just the other day, and apparently Gamlin is now living in some low-town shack. Sounds like the sort of character you'd cross the street to avoid. Let's not even talk about the estate. Mother says we should remember the Amels because that sort of thing could happen to any of us. You know the odd saying, a marcher's fortune rises and falls with the tide. If you ask me, this is just another misfortune that magic brings to honest folk. Andraste helped that poor family, whatever lies in store for them. Don't worry, I imagine what lies in store for me is great fucking riches in like 50 hours time. Hello! Rogues can detect and disarm traps. Well, I sure didn't see that. Wait, why can't I... Hello? It won't let me confirm it. Oh, I was getting knocked around, I guess. Got him. Boy, do I wish I could read what it was without having to open up the inventory. Why would they take that ability away? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, plus five mana slash stamina. Uh, what do you have? You have plus four percent fire damage. Uh, you can have that then. Go nuts. Enemy mages possess an array of defenses, including shielding spells. Uh, they are at a disadvantage when casting spells, though. Get ready! Vault Key and Imperial Blood Helm. Anyone want to wear an Imperial Blood Helm? Uh... Oh man, that is... Requires 17 strength, okay. Uh, maybe What's-Her-Face can wear it? 32 armor, plus 7 health, plus 8% healing to this character. Hmm. I assume you can't use it either, bro. Uh, no. Oh, it's also restricted to only me. Why? That seems weird. Why would a random helmet that just dropped on the ground from a fight be restricted to only me? That uh... Do it. Okay. That's the awesome. set. Everything we want to know about our family is inside. Nine gold. Hello, baby. Will and testament. Uh, protective sigils. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. Not yet. We've got a whole lot of other bits to explore in here first. I still want to look around. All right, but hurry. Will do. However, we will be doing that in the next part, because by the looks of this map, there is a lot still to explore here, and I think that is probably a good point to leave off. So, in the next part, we will continue exploring this area. And then we will return and hand in a bunch of stuff, go and help our boy, and yeah, see where we go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age 2. Thanks for watching. See you then.